Alright folks, we are back with more Dungeon Lords. Uh, sorry for the uh, abrupt cutoff last time, got a phone call like I mentioned. Um, but we are back now. Um, we were basically right at the end of that episode and I didn't feel like making a 30 second clip and having to edit it in. And I know I'm lazy, but so what? Um, also, good news, I managed to, uh, to get that shitty smoke alarm out of my ceiling and uh, replace it with a Nest Protect. So, uh, no more obnoxious buzzing noise in the background and me getting uh, upset. Anyway, um, uh, there wasn't much of anything interesting in that treasure chest. I don't know if I opened it or not during the recording. Um, but we got this button on the wall, opens up a, a secret door, I guess, though it's not really that secret with a big-ass button here. You'd think that they'd at least make it be like a book or something, but nope. Um, and we got an elevator. And I think that this goes... Oh, it automatically closes. Oh, good thing there's a button on this side as well. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I think this goes to the uh, the hidey hole behind the dude's throne. Um, yeah. So when we first uh, when we first walked in here and the dude was saying, "I'm be like, oh, it'd be a shame if you fell on your sword and died," um, and then he uh, he pulled his lever and uh, out he goes, or I guess as the case may be, in he goes. Um, uh, I don't want to stand on and activate it because I have to run all the way around to get back up there. But we know what's on the other side of it anyway. And then the sneaky little bastard pulled his uh, secret elevator lever, went up to his room. Like, how lazy do you have to be? You have, like, your own... Uh, I don't know. So anyway, that's that room. Um, let's see what else we got. Another chest. Coming in at that nice, uh, 99%. Oh, goodness. I wish that there was just, like, a, like, auto disarm or something. Like, when you, when your skill's high enough, like, or in so, such and such higher, um, above the, the skill level. Oh, got, got a party. You guys, you guys aren't letting the door open all the way. You broke it. Here, let me let me fix it. Oh, son of a... There. See? I'm a master door repairman. But yeah, as I was saying, it's really annoying how the uh, spell casting can be interrupted. I forget if there is a um, skill that prevents that or not. If there is, I would definitely like to uh, try and learn it, but the classes I'm going, I don't know, might not provide it. I don't know. It'd just be nice, as there have been many a spell wasted from getting shot with an arrow in a very untimely moment. Um, but yeah, like, I just think, like, once you, once you cap it out on 99%, just have, like, a, uh, auto, auto, auto disarm or something. Whoa. Well, I'm trying to talk and do two things at the same time, and clearly I'm not paying attention. There we go. But, that, that was pretty, pretty bad fail, I must say, while I'm talking about how there's no way anybody can mess it up at 99%, and I promptly go and fuck it up, but... Um, it, I feel like it just save a lot of time because it goes really slow at 99%, and it is it is possible but extremely hard to fuck it up. Um, and just having like a you know just disarm now um, button, be a nice little quality of life thing, but. Um, kind of a lost opportunity for the Steam version. Like, that's what they should have added in. Instead of fucking with the graphics and messing with the color saturation and whatever the hell else they did. Uh, come on. Come on. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, fucking sick door. Uh, so we should have. Uh, yep, everything up here should be nice and looted. So now we can go back to the. Uh, there's one place that we haven't really been. And that is this elevator over here. Which will take us down into the basement slash tombs. Uh, this is why I didn't come down here earlier, because we needed the uh, the Fadian tomb key or whatever it's called dropped by uh, Elder Demas Fadian or something. And so we got to get this door open. We have four levers here. Um, basically, they have to be pulled in the, uh, in the right order. Um, I think it's like... No. Yeah, there we go. I remembered. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so they have their own uh, own indoor swimming pool. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll go for a dip later. So we have, uh, we have this side to check out. And, you know, wolves in your basement, don't you? Like, where, what else are you supposed to do? Uh, you know, why? Why have, like, a cat or a dog that has a pack of I don't know, like 13, 14, uh, wolves. Makes perfect sense. Okay, give me all your fur. Excellent, I think I missed one. Yep, I'll take that. And we will... Continue on. Checking around for anything of interest, as I think I recall there being like a secret uh or something. from the Far Grove Cemetery. Gotta love it. And, uh, ah, yes. This giant-ass brick. Which opens this up, and we have a giant spider. Because, you know, what goes best with wolves other than big-ass spider? <laughs> and, uh, the first time I played this, I didn't realize... I have the answer for you. Fuck. Nice and easy. Complete overkill, but I really didn't feel like dealing with them. Um, right. So as I was saying, the first time I played this game, I didn't realize that uh, these sepulchers are actually treasure chests as well. You can disarm them. Um, anyway, back here we have a skull lever rod, which uh, we'll use that later. But uh, for now... Um... Oh goodness, 15%. What is my, uh... Is that level 6 and it's still 15%? Even just being one below? Goodness me. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's bump that up, huh? Why not? There we go. That's a little better. Uh, because it's just... At this point, there's, like, so many buttons that just moving the mouse around... 15% goes a little fast. Uh, so let's see here. Get the order that we're going to need to hit these in. So first it's going to be that one, then that one, then that one, and then all the way back there. We'll try it. Ah, too early. Too early. Alright, that one. That one, that one, that one. Generally don't like it when they jump around all over the place with the uh, order... There we go. Ooh. That thing looked nice. Ah, who am I kidding? 
I'm not going to be able to identify it. Okay. And then if we come over here, and if we were to, uh, to hop in there and swim, we would eventually... Uh, if you remember that other area where we walked down and we saw a puddle of water, it was where we fought all those stupid scorpions, we'd, uh, we'd pop out over on that side. Um, so, no point in taking a swim. Unless I wanted to fight some slimes or bats or other irritating creature. Uh, so we'll just uh, head to the other place. Now, uh, directly ahead of us are, um, I guess, lever receptacles, if you recall that uh, that thing we picked up, the, uh, the skull lever rod. Um, and uh, that's that's one way to do it. This way actually has two ways, right? So if you missed the, the secret... What the hell was that? What is this? Skeletons. Well, that actually makes sense to have Didn't, uh, didn't open that secret uh, that giant acid spray and get the first skull of a rod. There are uh, some underwater passageways um, that you can use to bypass the skull of a rod. Um, and there's actually a skull of a rod in one of the underwater passages. I'm not really sure why, but there you have it. Shit. Okay. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go for a swim, just so you all can see it. Drink a potion. Um, and it is uh, it's right over here. And, uh, just uh, swim along. There's two ways. Uh, they both go more or less the same place. We'll go this way. Um. And the, uh, the second skull of a rod, there's an identical secret passage on the other side, and that's where the second skull of a rod is. And, you know, now we're going to take a very minor... Oh, no, I lied. Second skull of a rod's right here. Though, at this point, you really don't need it. <laughs> um, and I guess we took a pretty decent amount of damage. All right. Potion. It's, uh... <laughs> My favorite use of the door. Come on out. <laughs> oh, I love it. Who's next? No one? Alright, let me resolve this for you. There we go. Come on, come on, you volunteer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I did not realize I still had my fireballs prime. That was a waste. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I have a... Uh, hey, come on, I'm trying to... I'm trying to pick up shit. Not open and close the damn door. But, uh, yeah, I've actually... Accidentally gotten myself stuck in a door opening and closing before, and it was not a fun experience to be on the receiving end of that. Though I think it's perfectly hilarious to watch. So, uh, nice, easy, peasy sarcophagus. Okay. Um. And as you, as you can see on my mini-map, my uh, scouting ability is telling me there's a button right there, um, which I knew about, or I remembered, I should say. Um, but it can be, uh, some of the secrets can be uh, difficult to spot or, in my case, remember, so that's why I like scout. Um, so it lets the game do it for me. Um, that's why I was so annoyed in the uh, Steam Edition that Scout was broken. Um, just out of curiosity. Yeah, so that's another troll move if you're playing in co-op. Um, and it's a trap. Um, 
Yeah, my gear's doing okay. Let's, uh, let's bust out some magic. I have magic of my own, asshat. Ow! Fucking minions! That's okay. He can, uh, if I keep minions between me and him, he'll, uh, he'll kill them for me. Hopefully, no more spawn in. Heal up again. This one. Alright, right there. Then that one. Then that one. Then that one. Okay. Another one of those. I already have that. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck me. Not paying attention. Uh, you see, it's funny. It's the ones, it's the easy ones that I fuck up because it's like I, uh, I take for granted. I'm like, ah, I got this. No way I can fuck it up. And then I don't, uh, don't really bother to look at the order of things like I should, or uh, really actually um, realize exactly which. Uh, which buttons I gotta hit. Um, yeah. So that is tomb number one. Let's swim around the corner here. And we swim underwater. Yeah, I don't mind uh, indoor water um, too much. Outdoor water that I hate. Also, these faces. Yeah. They're not too bad, but can we go up? Yes, we can. Good. Okay, and here we have more scorpions. Oh, come on then. Or do you need persuasion? Okay, with you guys being stuck on the uh, hey, come on. Next. I'm gonna kill your co-op partner at the door. It's probably also pretty hilarious. Not for them, but uh, for you. Okay. No problem. Didn't even get poisoned. That's what I like. Let's go ahead and break these open. Maybe I'm just really impatient, but I definitely do not remember a 99% trap taking that long. I don't know. Maybe it's a combination of the two. Let's see, it's this one first. 
Ugh. <laughs> Blood nectar. Fancy. Um and no no secret button here. Alright. Um, so yeah, so this grate here, the uh, those skull lever rods that we got, uh, they would open that up, but we, uh, we, we took the sneaky way, so we're gonna swim on out of here and uh, head to the other side. We'll use the, uh, the skull lever rods to get through the other side. Um, so I think that's faster, and the underwater passages on the other side are an exact um, mirror of the... Uh, yeah, 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 come on. They're fine. Suck it up. You can go three minutes without air, and I know that was not three minutes. Yeah, so the, the underwater passages on each side are an exact, uh, exact mirror, so... broken well now it's fixed um yeah and then if you uh yoink those it opens up the gate and that's where we just were so hello oh, a shitload of fish too no, those aren't blood gills i think they're just regular piranhas Man, you take a lot of doors slamming on you. What the hell? Oh, I, suppose I, to. I never liked those. I've always found the toys they made a little weird. Wait your turn. Nonsense is your nonsense is my cash. Right. Plunder some more tombs or sarcophaguses or burial sites or whatever you want to call it. Loot dispensers. Ooh. Alright, Jack diddly shit in that. Um, no secret door here, so... Yeah. Hi, fishies. Uh, that'd be stupid shooting that into the water. Okay, that was easy. Um, yeah, I, need to, I need to get my hands on more spell books still. Is, um, the, hey, what's this? Oh. Underwater treasure chest. But, yeah, I do need more spell books. Is the ones, the ones I bought. Ooh. Fancy dagger. Come on, up. Up. There you go. Yeah, it can also sometimes be uh, a bit awkward getting back up on top of the water once you've been under. Um, another reason why I don't really like swimming uh, in outdoor areas. Right. So this. Hello. It's been a while since we've seen you. And your puke breath. I really 
just like these enemies. The sounds they make, the way they look, it's just, uh, they're not that strong, though they're poisonous. Fuck. That's normally not poisonous. Okay, well, I'm... Kill him, door. Oh, I cough. Okay. Oh. I blocked your breath with my shield. Not standing that. That is not not healthy. Hey, knock it off. God damn it. Stop it. Dead. Not right now. Goodness me. Oh, there's more fish out there for me, too. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, something something about the slimes. They, if they were going for a uh, disgusting factor, then whoever designed them really nailed it. Hmm. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, doot, doot. Come on. Eh. Summon wolves. I don't want that. Fucking hell. Um. Uh, damn, those are getting uh, a little damaged. Oh, medium armor. I only have light armor. Uh, perhaps. Oh, nice. Insta repair. Hey, nice. All right. Ah, no penalty, and it's two more armor. And it's the exact same look. So there you go. Why not? Identify that? Nope. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to identify anything for a while now. Um, but as you can see, we have another button with another secret door. And looky there. It's a fancy something. Uh, this is going to be the same deal as on the other side. Bunch of shit's going to spawn. Um, oh. Okay, well. Go ahead and make a liar out of me, game. I guess I should say a bunch of shit is going to spawn when I pick up this fancy uh, armor. There we go. I get some damage on this guy before his minions go. Ruin my day. Eh, no. Stop it. On, spawn them all in. Go ahead. Spawn them all in. There. Spawn them all. Yep. Yep. Good. Good. Kill your own guys. That's fine. Got any more for me? Just let them all come in, and then I have a uh, welcoming present for them. I'm just gonna run around the room while they spawn in. Um, now I'm just gonna drop a. Uh... Ow. I didn't say you could drop shit on me. I said I'm. I'm gonna drop a drink of potion right now. Alright. I think that's, uh. I got full charges, let's go. Minion removal services. God, I love AOE Magic in this game. It just solves all of my problems. Well, I mean, it didn't take care of this guy, but it solved all of my other problems. Maybe you are now. Um, I got a few fireballs still. Let's go. <laughs> got a couple of these. What else we got? Ooh, I got 11 of these. Happy birthday, motherfucker. Oh, come on. You're ruining the surprise. Ruining the surprise. Stop it. The, you just made me burn like three of those. Um, 
Come on, don't you want to blow your candles out? Look at that. Blow your candles out and make a wish. Oh, what? I was on fire, so it interrupted the cast time. God damn it. Rude. Just trying to light your birthday candles. Um, get out of here. I don't like you anymore. Hey! You should be able to do that while you're getting out of my windstorm. There we are. Take your soul stone. And we got ourselves the, uh, Argelia of Whatchamadoodles. Eraldorn. It is nice armor. Uh, armor plus 18. Protection from just about everything for 20%. Mm. But we can't wear it. Get that nice minus 30 penalty. And heck, even if we could wear it, we only get to keep it for all of about like the next, I don't know, however long it takes us to drag our happy butts back to Arendale. Um, because it is taken away from us. Ooh. I do like that sword. That sword that popped out was a uh, Elven Blood Blade. I believe a 25% chance to cause bleeding or something like that. It's pretty nice. Um, and the uh, you might be saying, well, you already have one of those. No, I have a uh, the light. Well, I shouldn't say that. Well, I guess that is the medium one, isn't it? Yeah, that's no, that's light as well. Yeah, that's the sword. The other one's the dagger. Um, so yeah, you can uh, you can equip both of them and then have a. Uh, Double the fun, as they say. Now, where are these stupid-ass fishes? I don't see them in there, do you? They should be right there. Where are they? Well, I don't want to be fish food, so... Uh, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Um, how that kills them when they're, like, I don't know, six feet under me, I don't know how that works, but it does, so I'm just going to swim my butt out of here, and I think we'll uh, probably, what is that noise? Heard a bang or something, some thumping. There's a big thing stomping around somewhere. I don't see anything. Um, yeah, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll swim our way over here. And climb out. And then we are going to go ahead and call it an episode as we are a little over 30 minutes into this one. So, um, did what we came here to do. So, in the next one, we'll be heading back to Arendelle. Um... So, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you when we return with more Dungeon Lords Collector's Edition.